Oxygen has a ton of features that make it easy to really spice up your designs and make your websites pop. Let's take a look at our scroll animations functionality. So any element you want to add a scroll animation to, you just click the element, you go to advanced, effects, animate on scroll, and enable animation. And from here we have the most configurable scroll animations uh, ever seen in a visual builder. So let's set this to fade up. So when the user scrolls to this section, this will fade up. Let's give it a duration of 250 milliseconds. Set the animation easing to ease. Uh, we'll set no delay. And we're only going to animate this once. So when they re-scroll, it won't be animated again. And then a useful little design tip is to use different animation durations to sort of get, get a cool effect. So let's animate this subheading as well. Go effects, animate on scroll, enable animation, and we're going to set this one to also fade up, but a duration of 500 milliseconds. Same easing, it's going to be ease, no delay, animate only once. Then let's set up sort of a staggered animation effect on these cards. It goes like one, two, three, four. You see them animate in one at a time. So we'll click the first card, we'll go advanced effects, animate and scroll, enable animation and we'll choose zoom out down. So zoom out down, there it is, and you see a preview of what zoom out down looks like. So we're just gonna have to go boom, one, boom, two, boom, three, boom, four, all in a row. So this one we're gonna say animation duration 250 milliseconds with a delay of 750 milliseconds. So it'll wait 750 milliseconds until it actually animates this into view. We're only gonna animate that once, Okay, now let's do the next one. Same thing, advanced effects, animate and scroll, enable animation, zoom out down, animation duration, 250. But this one, we're gonna give it a delay of 1,000 milliseconds. So this one's gonna go first, then this one's gonna go a quarter of a second later. Animate only once. Okay, let's do the same thing for this next one. Enable animation, zoom out down, animation duration, 250. This one we're gonna delay by 1250, animate once, and let's go ahead and do the same thing for the last one. Animate on scroll, enable animation, zoom out down, 250, animation delay. This one's gonna be a 1250 delay. And now we scroll this into the viewport or just load the page since it's at the top of the screen, we're gonna get these effects. So let's go ahead and take a look. And look at that, one, two, three, four, such a cool effect. Now let's go ahead and set up animations for this section as well. If you want to animate multiple elements in the same way, you can just animate the container. So we'll click the div that contains both this heading and subheading, advanced effects, animate and scroll, and enable animation. We're going to set this to slide right, and we're going to give it a duration of 500 milliseconds and only animate once. And then let's do the same thing for the div containing this image. We're going to set that to flip left. So that's going to look like that. And we're going to give that a 500 millisecond duration uh, and a 250 millisecond delay. So first this will animate in and then this will flip in from the left and only animate that once. Okay, let's go ahead and save this. Take a look on the front end. And let's scroll down and look at that. Let's see it one more time. There it is. Beautiful effect with animate on scroll and we also have global scroll animation settings if you go to manage settings global styles animate on scroll If you're going to use the same animation duration or delays for all of the elements on a particular page or site wide You can just set that up right here And then the only thing you'd have to do on a particular element is enable the animation And it would automatically pull the global settings from right there so that could save you a ton of time